Hello and welcome to Folklore. Today we are going to talk about Govinda's friend Gopala. In a small village there lived a boy called Govinda. Govinda had lost his father and his mother Devaki, a poor widow, brought up the boy with loving kindness. There was no school in that village. Devaki wanted to send Govinda to a school in a nearby village. but he had to cross a big forest every day to reach the school govinda told his mother that he was afraid of walking alone in the forest to reach the school his mother told him govinda don't worry when you enter the forest call gopala a young boy with flute in hand will come and hold your hand and walk with you to school do the same thing in the evening while returning from the school Govinda did as his mother told him. He would enter the forest and call out as his mother had told him. Gopala, a young boy with flute in hand, would appear, hold Govinda's hand and walk nicely and then disappear after reaching the school. Again Gopala would appear and hold Govinda's hand on the return trip from the school to the home. Sometimes Govinda would ask Gopala for snacks to eat on the way. and gopala would give him some puffed rice both would eat the rice on the way to school towards the end of the year the school had an annual function the teacher requested each pupil to bring some snacks to the school and offer to all the kids after the prayers govinda told his mother that he had to take some snacks to the school his mother told him she had no money to buy or make snacks why don't you ask gopala to give you snacks She told Govinda. Govinda anxiously waited for Gopala to meet him in the forest. When Gopala came, Govinda told him, "Gopala, there is a function at the school, and I need some sweet snacks to carry." Gopala immediately said that he would provide on the next day, the day of the function. True to his words, Gopala gave a large packet of milk sweets to Govinda. Govinda carried the packet and gave it to his master. The teacher was thrilled and tasted the sweet which was delicious. The teacher asked Govinda whether his mother had prepared them. He knew that Govinda's mother was a poor widow and could not afford to make these sweets. Govinda replied that the sweets were given by his friend Gopala in the forest. The teacher was puzzled and asked Govinda, "Who is your friend Gopala in the forest?" Govinda replied that he is a small boy. who escorts him every day to the school the teacher was further intrigued he could not believe that any such boy lived in the forest it must be some wild imagination on the part of govinda govinda told that gopala is a very rich boy who can give him many things the teacher asked curiously govinda can you show me your friend gopala in the forest govinda replied yes Come with me sir I will show him The teacher wanted to test Govinda about his friend So next day he gathered a few more teachers and they all set out to the forest to meet Gopala if he was there The small group the teachers Govinda and a few students walked towards the forest On entering the forest Govinda cried out Gopala come here my teachers have come There was no reply Gopala did not appear. Govinda started crying. "Gopala, why are you hiding? I want you to come here." Again, there was no response and no one was seen. Govinda cried louder and called, "Gopala, you should come, otherwise my teacher will think I'm a liar and scold me. I will lose my honor. Gopala, you should uphold my honor." At that time, There was a clap of thunder. A voice was heard from the sky. Govinda, I appear only for those who believe in me and are pure in heart. I cannot appear before these persons. The teachers and the other students were astounded, and they knew that Lord Krishna himself was escorting Govinda all these days and gave him the sweets too. God appears to those who believe and are pure-hearted. What are your thoughts on this story? 
do share them.